that each and every one of you has attended at least one singing competition over the past seven years. Maybe some of you have attended all of them. Come with me. Today we're going to be talking with the man who had this unique idea. We'll find out the history of the show and find out the plans that he has for the future of this show. Come with me. Masood, how are you? Not bad, how are you? Good, thank you. I told these guys that we were going to talk about the singing competition, so I have some questions I'd like to ask oh, you. I thought you have come to ask me about my movies. We can't forget your movies, so not to worry, we'll get to those. But okay. the singing competition, it's quite a show. And um, this show is genuinely your brainchild, so please tell us what prompted you to start the show. You know, as far I felt uh, some ten years ago, that our community is really, really growing fast, rapidly. And we don't have enough singers or dancers. Mm -hmm. Or we may have them, but they're still in the dark. You know, they don't want to come out in the limelight. And I thought a singing competition will really uh, fill the need for the community. So that's how it started. And I'm very proud to say that so far, in about seven, eight years, we have given no less than 300 new singers and no less than 100 dancers to the community. Excellent. I think we really need something like this in our community because I know there's a lot of talent just waiting to happen. Definitely.
the very first one what was your experience what was the response to the show you know as far anytime you start anything um, I don't think it's a smooth sailing in the beginning mm -hmm. so we had the same problem uh, we weren't sure where we going the singers and the dancers weren't sure uh, how it's going to turn out later on so first year was okay mm -hmm. but after that we had no problem you know it's been uh, a dashing success as you noticed and we never had any problem getting the singers or dancers or, or anything I can vouch for that, and there's something to be said for growing pains. There's no pain without, there's no gain without the pain. For 
past years, throughout the singing competition's life, you have come across a lot of entertainers. Is there any in particular that stands out and that really impressed you? Few. I mm -hmm. to tell you the truth, uh, when these boys and girls come to sing, and uh, men and women, of course, uh, you don't know how they're going to perform, right? But some of them really left uh, a very deep mark on uh, on everybody's hearts, mm -hmm. I should say. That's true. A uh, few of them were extremely good dancers and, and singers. For instance, when I first started, I had a guy who came from London, Ontario, mm -hmm. and uh, I didn't know how is he going to perform. But when he came at the stage and performed for the pin drop silence, yeah. little later on, few years later, I had a girl. Uh, funny enough that I put her uh, number 20, which was our last singer, and I remember his dad came up to me and said, why would you keep my daughter at number 20 right at the end? Uh, you're underestimating my daughter. And he said, no, sir. I heard her when she came for, uh, uh, you know, we do this screening before mm -hmm. the show. Mm -hmm. And she was good. So I thought by the time she's going to come on a stage, it'll be roughly about 11 p.m. And most of the audience fall asleep by then. Mm -hmm. So I kept her name at the end so that everybody will wake up again when she sings. Believe it or not, she took the thunder away. She yeah. was number one that yeah. particular year. I forgot the year. I believe it was 96 or 95. If you're talking about the same girl that I'm thinking about, I definitely agree with you. She stole the show. She sure did. We're talking about comedy, Tarsika. Yeah. True, true.
come and performance. And then after that, I'll come back to introduce the judges. So, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Jessica Sharma.
say they come from uh, from the skies would you believe me <laughs> no what happens is we advertise right and we advertise all over we advertise in Toronto we advertise uh, in Mississauga of course uh, we advertise in Vancouver we advertise in Detroit everywhere through newspapers television radio and everything and you won't believe it as well we have had singers from Detroit Michigan we have had singers from Edmonton uh, Alberta uh, Vancouver Montreal and this is every year not not just a fluke London Ontario all over Ontario I should say all over Quebec I should say and uh, like I said as far as Detroit Michigan once we had somebody from New York and I asked this uh, girl I said uh, she was a Sri Lankan girl and I said how did you learn about this singing competition because I didn't advertise in New York and especially when you don't understand the language you're Sri Lankan she said to me one day we went to a restaurant, Indian restaurant, in the States, and she said, I spotted a, a newspaper, I believe it was Eastern News, and she said, I saw the ad on the front page, singing competition, and she, she thought it was interesting enough. So she came all the way, and uh, good thing, and I'm very happy about it, that she won the third prize. You know, she came, she traveled all the way, came for a screening, went back to Detroit a couple of times. I mean, we always have two practices and everything. And she won the prize. Excellent. Yeah, and surprisingly, when she came, uh, she wanted to sing a song, I believe, a Sri Lankan song or something. She didn't want no music. She brought her own guitar. Oh, really? And she played her own. I forgot her name, but uh, her last name, I believe, was Nike or something. You know, you'll, you'll hear her song yeah. in the tape. No, definitely. The word is getting out for the show. I imagine you're going to have people coming from all over the place. Oh, I hope, certainly hope so. I certainly hope so. And you're right. Uh, it's getting around. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Some of them did, you know. So I know one for sure because this guy, I believe, uh, participated in 1993. And if I'm not mistaken, this guy came number second. And uh, later on, I learned that he has gone to Bollywood. And then I was told by some more singers and dancers that they have been given a chance uh, at Mumbai. I I'm not sure whether they were in a films or a stage or whatever. But I'm pretty sure some of them really uh, hit the roof. I I imagine they w if they haven't they will because I know the caliber of performers that have been present at the past shows and they are good. Yeah, surprisingly, you know, I I never thought that this show will be talk of the town one day, but it's getting there. You know, every year the tickets get sold out. You see new singers and dancers coming up all the time, and some of them are extremely good. Thank you. 
Now, you told us about the participants of the competition, but you know, when they come and perform, they're all coming with one hope that they're going to win for the night. For sure. So, one of the critical aspects of the competition are the judges. Tell us, what is your selection process for these judges? You know, these judges also come from all over us, and I think uh, we are happy that people help us out. There are a lot of people who are involved in these uh, music sessions and shows and everything. They usually refer us to, to those judges. They give us names. Mm -hmm. Then we call them up and uh, we make sure that they understand a little bit of the, the music. Uh, they don't have to know. They don't have to be a music director to be a judge. Why we do this? Because if you really go into nitty gritty and get somebody who is like 100% a music director, right? Mm -hmm. Then I think all these amateur singers who participate will not pass. They will not win. And we have had an occasion uh, where I had a judge who has given uh, zero to everybody. He said uh, not anybody I found was perfect, picture perfect mm -hmm. to the competition. So we, it's a mixed bag. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we get judges who are not music uh, directors or who are not really into the surtal and all of the business. Mm -hmm. They are uh, uh, they are general public, right. you know, member of the public, but they have a sense of it. Mm -hmm. So that's how we do it. And uh, we have a criteria which was designed by a uh, famous music director, Sohail Rana Saab. Mm -hmm. I was a very prominent name in music, uh, uh, number one music director right. from Pakistan. This gentleman was kind enough to design the criteria for us. And even he agreed with me that besides Surtal, mm -hmm. we should have points for presentation, we should have points for uh, how they take off and how they land, you know. Right. And all these things count in the winning. Mm -hmm. So all these judges are being referred by the community people. Well, tell me about the outcomes of the past competitions. Have you always been satisfied with the judgments? Well, that's why it's a very difficult question to answer because uh, as the management team, mm -hmm. uh, we don't want to get involved with the judgment process. And trust me, we only learn about these uh, winners 
when the result is brought to us at the 11th hour. Right. Whoever is compiling the result, he shows up with three names. Mm -hmm. And only then we learn that these people are the winners. We don't interfere. Uh, we don't know what and how the judges select the winners. Right. Uh, uh, but if I tell you the truth, uh, I'm not satisfied 100% all the time. And this is me talking, personal, my personal opinion. The reason being, I see a good singing, and I am no music director, right? So I feel that this man or this woman or this boy, this girl is going to win, right? To my surprise, they don't. Obviously, judges know a little bit better than I do. Mm -hmm. So uh, I find that somehow or the other, uh, not always I am with the, with the judgment. But it is to the public, it is to the singers who have to be satisfied and, and we tell our singers the judgment is final. There's no appeal against it. Okay.
So, Masood, tell us, what are your plans for the future of the singing competition? Oh, I like your question. <laughs> like everybody else, mm -hmm. you know, when I first started, I started in a small auditorium sort of thing, and then I took it to Meadowville uh, right. uh, Community Center, a Meadowville Theater, rather, you know, which is a, which then was a newly built mm -hmm. uh, theater. And we did it there. Now we have a living uh, art center at Square One. Mm -hmm. I want to do a show there. But if you ask me about my goal, one day I want to see this singing competition of mine, my brainchild, and I'm very proud of it, mm -hmm. at the Sky Dome. Wow. <laughs> and I hope it will happen. I don't doubt it. I'm pretty sure one day it will happen. Mm -hmm. Because every time we get a, a bigger and bigger hole mm -hmm. with the capacity of 1,000 people, 1,200 people, we always have some... Uh, unhappy people at the end right. you know I mean you've been there a few times you've noticed we never had any problem selling the tickets no. they come in and they go <laughs> fast you know and at the end I see some unhappy faces they couldn't get the ticket right. and uh, Mississauga does not have a bigger place where I can cater 2,000 people or 3,000 people I have to go outside Mississauga and Mississauga is our town we want to stay here and if I ever want to move I want to go to Skydome
सजन मुश्किल थे तोड़ने मुश्किल थे तोड़ने दुनिया बेगानी हो गई बस तेरा प्यार था मरने सजी न हो गया तेरा इंतजार था तेरा इंतजार था खाकर अब मुंह न फेरना अपना बना ले तू मुझे हो जाए तेरना हो जाए तेरना हाथों में तेरा हाथ है इस एक बार से हाथों में तेरा हाथ है इस एक बार से को सनम डाल दो बाहों में यार के बाहों को सनम डाल दो बाहों में यार के मौसम बदल गए दिन है बाहर के मौसम बदल गए दिन है बाहर के बाहों को सनम डाल दो बाहों में यार के सनम डाल दो बाहों में यार के बाहों को सनम डाल दो बाहों में यार के बाहों को सनम डाल दो बाहों में यार के बाहों को सनम डाल दो बाहों में यार के